Food Shannon video game. On today's menu, our item comes from one of my favorite Otome games of all time, and of course, it's Mystic Messenger. I recently just finished everybody's storyline and I ended with 707's route and oh my goodness, Jumin used to be like Ma Bay, but I am just now also aware that Jumin is just dumb, I don't know, cray. Now I see Seven in like such a new light, I'm like oh my goodness, like Seven, like now you're just like a kitty, I just wanna put in my pocket with like Kiro right here, sorry Kiro. But uh, anyways, today we'll be making 707 and Yu Sung's favorite snack ever and it is Honey Blue Chips. One of the reasons I love making potato chips is because like they're literally low maintenance food. Honey Buddha chips are actually a play on words to a classic potato chip flavor which is honey butter chips. Um, but it is a really really like savory, salty, but like sweet kind of chip. And I mean like oh my goodness. like It, it really does taste good with a little parsley on top. And I can't wait to show you how to make it. So without further ado, let's get started. To make this irresistible snack, you will need oil, salt, butter, three potatoes, honey, and parsley. But as always, before we begin making anything in the kitchen, we need to wash those hands. I mean, I understand that potato chips can be messy, but they don't need to be tasting like the mess that is your hands. To begin, let's work on the potatoes. Bring out a cutting board and wash and skin your potatoes like so. Magic! Next, you're going to want to get out your trusty, dusty vegetable slicer. And with your potato, start slicing, holding the potato vertically. You know, something is just not quite right with this picture. Hmm. Oh, that's because you actually want to slice your potato with this thing on top for added protection and so that your potato doesn't move. This reminds me of that emoji. What was that emoji again? The eggplant! And now you have perfectly sliced potatoes. If you don't have a vegetable slicer, you could use a knife, but try to make sure that your potatoes are thin enough so that they cook all the way later. Once that's done, grab yourself a bowl with cold water and put your potato slices in the bowl. This will prevent them from oxidizing, which basically means turning like this. Then just let it take a soak for about 8 minutes. After that, with a paper towel, dry your potato slices and try to make sure that there are no traces of water on them because for the next step we will be putting them in oil and yeah, water and oil don't mix. It's frying time! Set your pan to medium heat and place one cup of oil and one fourth a cup of butter into your pan and stir it around. Place your potato slices one at a time and make sure not to place too many at once and cook on each side until golden brown. Notice a nice golden brown color, go ahead and scoop, drain, and place them on a plate. But our chips wouldn't be complete without the honey butter sauce, so let's work on that now. Bring out a bowl and place one fourth a cup of butter into it. Then add in three fourths a cup of honey. Oh yeah. And stir until thoroughly combined. Once that's done, microwave your honey butter mixture for one minute. After that, bring out a bowl and place your freshly made chips inside. And now for the fun part. Drizzle one third of your honey butter sauce onto the chips and then give them a little shake to make sure that the sauce coats the others. And just repeat until all the sauce is gone. Then just bring out your salt and sprinkle some onto your chips and give it a shake. Shake, 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 shake. Now you could stop here and your chips will taste just fine. But if you find that your chips are not as crunchy as you'd like them to be, go ahead and crank that oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and get yourself a large tray and put your chips inside. Then place your chips in the oven for about seven minutes, but make sure to keep an eye on your chips so they don't burn. As soon as that's finished, add a sprinkle of parsley on top and then, ta-da! You now have freshly made honey Buddha chips. I'm 
pretty sure that these are 707 and Yusung certified tasty. Or at least I think they are. I'm sure that whoever you decide to share these with will enjoy them too. Or bump all of them and eat them yourself. No judgment here. Let's see what the fam thinks. Okay guys, I made some lovely honey Buddha chips. I think they're a little salty, a little sweet, and uh, extra delicious. What do you guys think? Yeah? yeah. Looks like it's salty. Mm. That's good. Mmm. They're really good actually. Yeah, I'm pretty like I could actually eat like a million of these chips. Like, if it was a bag, I would eat them. Mmm. Wow. Look so good. Yay! And that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. As always, if you have any other like anime or video game recipes that you would like me to try, please let me know in the comment section below and I can see if I can do them. And stay tuned for more anime ass stuff coming your way. And hey, if you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like and subscribe buttons. And that's it for me. Thank you again for sharing a part of your day with me. And I hope the rest of your day is... Hear that, ladies? Back up.